I'm Debbie Arnold and I'm the 5th District County Supervisor. The Arnold family's been part of the community. They've served in different capacities. We've always tried to pitch in where we could. We've raised our kids, uh, we've coached youth sports. My husband Steve and I, we got married in 1975 and we have two grown children here in the county. Four grandchildren involved in the ranching as well and I'm lucky that I see my grandkids all the time and yeah, life goes on, but it's good. Many people know that I owned and operated a preschool for 17 years in Atascadero and really never thought I'd ever be involved in politics. But I had the opportunity to serve under a previous supervisor, Mike Ryan, and I was a legislative assistant here at the county for five years. So with that experience then, I went on and worked in Sam Blakesley's office when he was an assemblyman and later as a senator. So with all that experience under my belt, I thought, you know, it, I may be an asset and be able to really serve my constituents and my fellow community members. This is my 11th year serving as a county supervisor. When I originally ran for office in 2012, it was just a community service as far as I was concerned, a way to give back to the county that I cared about. For this government to work for all of us, everyone needs to be part of it and have their needs and concerns addressed. You know, there are a lot of things that are important to me and important to other people I know. It's always about how we're going to get there. Often hear people come to this county, whether they're moving here or visiting, saying, wow, this is just great. And, and then sometimes you'll hear them say, but we need to do this and this and this and, and make changes. So it's really just a balance. And uh, I think that we're going to be in good shape if we can learn to just strike that balance. Beautiful to live here, but lots of people want to live here. We have a great climate, we have great scenery, we have oceans, we have mountains, we have a lot that's going to create a supply and demand problem. A lot of people want to come here, so how do we accommodate that? But then there's a balance and we are seeing the efforts to create more affordable housing. It's really been an honor to serve the people of this, of this county because this is a special place. It is, and I think everybody feels it in some way or another, you know, that it's really special to them. So when I think about it, you know, the people have entrusted me to be their voice in this special piece that San Luis Obispo is here in the state of California.